Hey, very excited to bring in our guest here on Off the Mound, winner of 355 games in the Major Leagues. He is a National Baseball Hall of Famer and former teammate of mine, Greg Maddox. Doggy, how are you today, man? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Nice. Uh, in Vegas, I'm guessing? Safe? Sound? Yeah, Vegas, we're doing good. We're safe. We're, uh, you know, lucky enough to play a little golf in the morning and then uh, just quarantine the rest, you know, till bedtime. Uh, you know, a lot of Netflix, uh, you know, we got three dogs. What are you going? Know. What are you going to on huh? Netflix right now? What's your go-to? Uh, well, I tell you what, I'm really enjoy- I'm rewatching Game of Thrones and having a good time watching that again. Yellowstone was pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're watching uh, Luther. As long as people are dying, we're in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is kind of a weird time right now. No baseball going on. Um, what would you what would you be doing if you were a pitcher right now and you you know you didn't have the ability to to be practicing and being ready for the season what would you be doing yeah. to stay in shape I think I would be doing what I do in January you know the um, a month before spring training I would try to uh, you know play some long toss and if I can get on a mound you know once a week I'd do that I just treat it like January until until the phone rings and say we're going to start back up again and I remember the uh, lockout year didn't we have like a two week spring training I think it was so uh uh you know you're gonna have to get ready pretty quick once the bell rings and uh you know you probably want to continue to throw um the game today you know you see it you watch it on TV, the way it's talked about with uh, analytics and things like that. Um, mm-hmm. You were a guy that, hey, you made every start all the time. But wins, you went 17 straight years of winning 15 games. Um, why, why do you think the wins are devalued as far as analytics go? And do you feel like they're just as important for the starting pitcher? Well, we had analytics when we played. We just didn't have a name for it, you know? <laughs> Uh, uh, we 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 used our 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 previous games. We watched video. We just didn't have everything written down and, and handed to you. So, uh, uh, you know, I think the analytics are great. I think you still have to have some kind of command of the baseball to pitch to them. You know, you can be the smartest guy in the world, but if you can't throw the ball where you're trying to throw it, you know, kind of what good is it? And uh, uh, you know, I think. The pitchers that I watch today, uh, the ones that locate and change speeds the best are, are the ones still winning, <laughs> you know, just like 20 years ago. Yeah. So, uh, All the guys you played with, I probably know the answer to this, but maybe you got somebody different. Best, Who is the best golfer you that that you play baseball with out on the golf course? Uh, easily Smoltzy. I mean, uh, you know, Smoltzy's just got game. He's got a short game and he can hit it far. He was playing a three on one against us back in the day. It'd be like me, Glavin and Avery against Smoltzy. Uh, <laughs> pretty impressive what he's done with his golf game. Yeah. And and equally as impressive as what he's done with his hair. See, he took it all the way down. <laughs> I see it. I get a laugh every time. All this extra time, I need to go up in the uh, in the garage and, and find uh, the old pictures I took. I used to take one of the top of his head at the end of the year <laughs> on the on the back of the plane. <laughs> I'd sneak behind him and get a picture of his bald spot growing, and I think I got about worth on there. So it'd be fun to find those, and I don't know, maybe put them on uh, Twitter or something. <laughs> oh man, the evolution of a career hairline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, you know, I was looking, just looking at your numbers and going through things, and you know, for all the young guys out there that you know are maybe feeling like that they're. They're not quite where they want to be. I saw the year you had in Chicago, your, your first full year, your second year in the big leagues, you know, it was a struggle and, you know, a five ERA, you know, a bunch more losses than wins. And then all of a sudden you turned it around. What or who or what was the biggest difference that you made at that point in your career that kind of changed the trajectory of, of Greg Maddox's career? Well, I think uh, my first year, I really struggled with my changeup. You know, I, I didn't have the ability to pitch slow very well. And uh, after that year, I went to winter ball with the help of Dick Pohl, uh, worked hard on my changeup and my changeup got better. And then, you know, I was able to uh, throw something other than a fastball. And, you know, that was probably the biggest difference in, in, in those first two years. 
Yeah. It's so simple, right? Just changing speeds, location and changing speeds. Yeah. Easier said than done, but that's all you got to do. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Um, so we were talking uh, before this, uh, your daughter is doing work uh, for the COVID-19, the coronavirus stuff with the, um, what, what hospital is again down in San Diego? Uh, Rady's Children's Hospital. It's mostly for kids with cancer. Uh, uh, not a lot with the virus, but there is some, but uh, she's been doing that now for about five years. And, uh, you know, we, I know we donate a lot of money down there. It's a very good cause. And, uh, uh, you know, as far as the COVID thing, there's, there's stuff locally here in Las Vegas that, you know, you make sure you always add a, add a little extra at the end of the bill on your credit card and, and it goes to those to help. And, uh, uh, you know, just fortunate that, uh, we're in a position to be able to help right now. And, and, you know, we're, we're, we're doing things and, uh, you know, we just hope, we just hope we can hurry and get through this thing. All right. Well, uh, here with us at Off the Mound, um, we want to do that too. We want to be able to give back. So um, we're going to donate a thousand dollars to both the Radies Children's Hospital down there in San Diego, and um, also to I know Dexter Fowler is doing some great things there in Las Vegas with helping to feed the hungry. I know you're a Las mm -hmm. Vegas resident. I see you rocking the Las Vegas hat there, the Golden Knights yeah, hat. So, um, yep. so we're gonna we're gonna send a check out to both. I'll get a, an address from all you right, when sweet. we. When we're all done awesome. so you. help out but yeah right. absolutely and thank yeah. you for for coming on today and and yeah. uh you know shooting the breeze with us and having a little fun and talking yeah. some baseball yeah good seeing you again Dem 